Let's stay focused. Allow me. Yeah. Let me at him. Anchors away. May the earth engulf you. On to the next one. Our voyage isn't over yet. Uh, a mere you scratch. Right? Hmm. What's the plan? Yeah! Hmm. Our quest must go on. New powers, huh? New powers flow within me. Let's stay focused. Huh? Okay, what's the plan? <laughs> I'm up, huh? Spirits protect us! Woohoo! No big deal! Here I go! Here I go! Our journey has only just begun! It doesn't look like Dag and Selena came back this way. We should be okay for now. Well, they'll not pose much of a threat without their asterisks anyway. I must take this opportunity to make a report to His Majesty. He will wish to strengthen the city guard. I will join you. Thank you all so much for coming to my aid. Hey, don't mention it. You did the same for me once, remember? Aye. And with two shiny new asterisks to show for our efforts. Oh, before you go, Sir Sloan? I wanted to ask you about what you said back there. About the... Crystal's blessing? Ah, but of course. Tis a matter of great import, yet one which, alas, will not suffer a brief explanation. Perhaps we might speak of it upon my return. Uh, sure. <laughs> I can wait. You are a gentleman. All right, eh? How about us lot go about our business as well and meet back at the inn? I have a few things to take care of myself. Very well. Until then.
Hey there. Are you all right now, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, it's you. You really saved my skin back there, you know. I'll have to think of some way of paying you back. Oh, there's no need for anything like that. I won't hear of it. Imagine a debt like that left unsettled. But what to give you? <gasps> Hold on. You're a sailor, aren't you? I, I, I am. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, you could hardly be anything else, dear. Right, come along with me. I've got something to show you. Here you go. A little boat to say thank you. A boat? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. It's too much. Nonsense. I want you to have it. I don't get much use out of it at my age anyway. And besides, the old girl would prefer to have a handsome young fellow like you at the helm, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right about her being old. But she's in great condition from what I can see. She's wonderful, isn't she? And sturdy as anything, too, I can promise you that. Not ocean-going sturdy, perhaps, but fine as long as you don't stray too far from shore. What say you hop on board and give her a whirl? All right, you've convinced me. Don't mind if I do? <laughs> That's the spirit. Who knows what awaits over the horizon, eh? or who you might meet. Well, how did the old girl treat you? Beautifully. She sails like a dream. Which is why I can't accept your offer. She's too good to just give away. You can't? Hmm. Fine. If it makes you feel better, how about I lend her to you instead? I'll look after her, and you give me a shout whenever you want to take her out. Just come and find me and say the word. It's really no trouble, dear. Well, uh, I guess that would work. Thanks. Right, then. I suppose I'd better be heading back to town. Okay, ma'am. Oh, try to steer clear of any monsters this time. <laughs> I'll do my best.
Firstly, I would like to thank you all once again for rescuing me. And since you went to such great lengths on my behalf, I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly. My name is Gloria. I am, or at least was, the Princess of Musa. It has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knight's Nexus might be kept at bay. Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloane, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, Tis plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... Is what the matter, boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> hey, you're not leaving us behind either. Two may be company. But a crowd's just what I need right now. Oh, don't say you're getting bored of me, Elvis. Ah, as if I'd ever even think something like that. <clears throat> hey, seriously, though, we've a good reason to be coming along for the ride. Those last asterisks we got our hands on helped me read a little more of Lady Emma's old book. And from what Sir Sloan was saying, it sounds like our crystal thieves all have asterisks of their own. So... If we join you on your little adventure, I reckon my favourite special stones will be falling into our laps left and right. And you'll also have our expert hell to call on. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> well, far be it from me to contradict the man who pays my wages. As long as we keep moving, I'm happy. Aye. Uh, r remind me why that is again? I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared from our village. And I don't really have any idea where she might be, and I need to earn a living if I want to keep searching, so sticking with you is my best option. For now. Oh, aye, aye, aye. That was it, eh? Right. Well, here's hoping we find her soon. Thanks. Twould seem that we are all of the same mind. What thinkest thou, my lady? Hmm. Very well. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. I would be honoured if you were all to join us. All righty. Oh, well, now that's settled. Let's head to the tavern and seal the deal over a wee drinky, shall we? You really love the tavern, huh? And what exactly is wrong with that, eh? A quest begun without a little send-off ceremony's no quest at all as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Huh? Oh, hi there, Sir Slum. I had hoped that I might have a chance to speak with thee. Tis mostly of matters long since past, but... Wouldst thou be so good as to humor an old man? I too was once favored with the blessing of the wind crystal. To think that half a century has passed since that day. Wait, you were? 
Indeed. And having been so favoured, I did set out with a band of stalwart companions in search of a means by which the Knight's Nexus might be defeated. One among whom was King Godric, Princess Gloria's own grandfather. I shall never forget the experiences we shared, not as long as I live. Hither and yon we journeyed, righting wrongs and vanquishing injustice. In time, we came to be known as the Heroes of Light. Ah, such fond memories. So you were a Hero of Light? Didn't you call me the same thing? Indeed I did. <laughs> Thou didst jolt me most jarringly back into my past, boy, I must admit. To think that it has been fifty years, and that now, after all this time, the blessing of the Wind Crystal should fall upon one such as thee. It pleases me more than words can say. Thou art mine heir. Thou art the one the crystal hath chosen to take my place. This being so, I must ask that thou swear by thy life to protect Princess Gloria, as I myself once swore to protect all those of her line. Of course. Then it is settled. Now, away with thee to bed. We rise with the dawn. Morning. Good morning. Greetings, one and all. <sighs> How do you all look so fresh this early? Ah, good morrow. Uh, milady, ere we depart, there is something I would present unto thee. Though it paineth me to think of it, there may come a time where thou must needs protect thyself. May this blade serve thee in thy time of need. Well, it is time to set out for our next destination, Savalon. If our suspicions are correct, the water crystal awaits us there. This is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little lot in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. 
Wait, how exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Uh, okay. So who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. I, I just ran into him in here and I thought I'd better not leave him by him. So oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. Awful. <laughs> First of all, the water started to rise. And that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved. Which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You'd think that was bad enough. But things got <coughs> worse. I was making my way home empty handed when I was attacked by a snagger. Is it a habit? Sir Hagen. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked that I dropped my precious knife. It's a very special knife. See, my master gave it to me when I became a fully fledged fisherman. A gift from your master, eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle a Sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife. Your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? <laughs> well, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? Dag and Selena deserted me? Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Horogradders went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh, perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures.
What's that? <gasps> oh, hello? Whoa! It's a monster! <laughs> no! Truff is not a monster! <laughs> no way! It can talk! Please! Please! Don't hurt Truff! <laughs> Truff is a monster, yes! But not a bad one! I'm sorry. You just surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either. Truff doesn't hurt humans. So please, don't hurt Truff. Don't worry. We won't. So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to hear Truff's story? Oh, thank you! Oh, Truff is looking for someone. Someone who can cut tall grass. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. Truff has searched and searched, but <laughs> nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Yeah. Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. So, you need someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! <laughs> someone with a weapon like yours! <laughs> yes, you could do it! Sure, I guess we could, but... You, you will help Truff? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help. But they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. Aye, well, they were probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. Uh, like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. Right, let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Is this your ring, Truff? Oh! Yes! That's it! That's it! Humans found it! Oh, thank goodness! I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh! Oh, it's not Truff's! <laughs> it's for Truff's friend! Truff's friend, uh, human! What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes! He rescued Truff then. Truff and he became friends. Best friends. He's the one who taught Truff how to speak. So that's how you learned, huh? Nice. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed! Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow! They chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring! Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But Truff can't fight! Humans can, though. Humans can fight them for me, yes! Come on, let's sneak up on them. Uh, sure, I guess. Let's do it. We've outmaneuvered them! Here I go! Ah! Hmm. Ah! Okay then! Ah! You rang? Ah!
All right, then. Ah! That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you! Not a problem, Truff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes, Truff is never going to lose it again. But you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. <laughs> so hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. <sighs> then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. Wait, do you know anything about this person? His name? A anything? Truff's friend's name is Mitch. Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. If Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. So you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? Huh, I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans. Okay. Okay then. Okay. Oh, what's next? I wonder. All right then. Ah! Hmm. No bad, eh? Onwards and upwards. Another step in the right direction. Looks like we found that fisherman's knife. Aye. Just look at that sea, eh? i seen it now, you'd never think it could rise up like it did. Yeah. The waves have died down some since the storm. But you should have seen it. I can imagine. Just goes to show how badly we need the crystals. Everything all right, Lady Emma? Wind's picking up. Looks like there's a storm brewing. You don't quite seem yourself today, if I may say so. I've been thinking about the past. Ah, uh, reminiscing, eh? Something like that. Can't believe it's been fifty years already. Aye, fifty years is a... Wait, fifty years? Uh, Lady Emma, if you don't mind me asking, just how old are you? I do mind you asking as it happens, you impertinent so-and-so. I am a lady, you know. Oh, um, uh, I... sorry. <laughs> Ugh, stop with your bowing and scraping, it's embarrassing. Not that I mind seeing you show a bit of respect every now and then. If you can manage to take things more seriously once in a while, we might make a half-decent scholar of you one day. And when we do, I'll tell you. About the past, I mean. Wait. So, what does that make me now? 
quarter decent. Ah, third and a bit. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be at least a quarter. Not even close. Have you forgotten the mark you got in that last test? It was your lowest ever. Quarter's too good for you, you great knucklehead. Knuckle? You've got a long, long way to go yet, and don't you go thinking otherwise. But if I can cram one thing into your thick skull in the meantime, let it be this. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. <laughs> right. Better get this knife back to his rightful owner and claim our reward, eh? Just a couple of drinks, okay? Aye, just a couple. Come on, let's shake a leg. That's... that's my master's knife. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Just like him. Warms the cockles of your heart, eh? Sure, I guess. So, you said this was your master's knife. <sighs> it's very special. The king himself gave it to him. He must have done something pretty amazing to deserve a gift like that. Oh, he did. He changed fishing forever. See, back when he started, all the fishermen were disorganized, disgraceful ruffians. But he cleaned them up, taught them to take pride in their work, and gave them a real sense of purpose. The king was so impressed. He asked my master to become his fisheries minister, but my master refused. He didn't want to work in an office. He wanted to be out on the boats with the others. Choosing a life of hard graft over a cushy job with a posh title, eh? There's a lot to admire about that. There is, isn't there? Come to think of it, the king said the same thing when he presented him with the knife. My master kept fishing until his dying day. And when he finally passed on, he left me his prized possession. Keeps me safe out of the seas, it does. Your master sounds like a great man. <sighs> anyway, I owe you a drink. Many drinks, in fact. Tonight's on me. Oh, thank you kindly. Don't mind if I do. Just a couple, right? What are you suggesting? That we say no if it turns into more? And how's our pal here gonna feel about that, hmm? Uh, I guess you're right. Fine. That's the spirit! Parky, bring us a bottle of your most expensive... <laughs> grog! Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking to new friends!
What's got you so excited, Adele? Me? Oh, the innkeeper's been telling me about all the local cuisine. Did you know Halcyonia's famous for its food? I can't wait to try some. Oh yeah? What kind of food are we talking about here? All kinds, but seafood mainly. Shellfish and seasonal vegetable bouillon, a squid wrapped in seaweed. But the dish I like the sound of best is the silver smelt sautéed in lemon butter. Hmm. Silver smelt? People eat those things? You know what they are? Yeah, they're pretty rare. But sometimes they get tangled up in our nets. They look, well, kind of weird. Ugh. What kind of person would even think of taking a bite out of one of those? They're certainly not the prettiest. But you wait till you taste one. Mmm. Nothing brings out that flavor like a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. Pop a few nice fluffy potatoes on the side and there's simply nothing better. Oh, I have to try this. Sure, it sounds delicious, but... Silver smelt? Seriously? Do they really look all that disgusting? <laughs> Gosh! Now I really want to try some. All right, I'm sold. I'll take the silver smelt and make it snappy. Ah, uh, there's just one thing, sorry. I should have mentioned this, but I got a little carried away. I'm afraid we're all out of butter. Have been for a while now. There's been word of a wolf on the road to the city, you see. The merchants we rely on are all too scared to make the trip. No ordinary wolf, mind you. They say it's the size of a small mountain and capable of eating a whole flock of sheep in one sitting. But if we get rid of it, you'll cook me some fish, right? Right? Well, yes, I suppose, but... Say no more. One giant wolf pelt coming up. You've really never seen a silver smelt, huh? Oh, quit sniping. Everyone's a winner. No more wolf for these guys to worry about, and I get to try something new. Well, come on! Where's the harm, huh? Huh? You get pretty antsy when you're hungry. Hey! That's what everybody back home used to say. Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Fine. All right. Whereabouts can we find this wolf? On the North Road, if the rumors are to be believed. Great. Let's get out there and find it. For the sake of your livelihood. And Adele's stomach. Oh, I'd say the latter is your more immediate concern. <laughs> you too? Oh, fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll be outside. Hey! Oh, man. Guess I better get after her. Down the hatches! 
that's nothing! Thought it was just a big one, did you? Eh? Here I go! How did this happen? Ah! It's nothing! Very well. What's the plan? Alright, who's next? Oh, did you underestimate us? <laughs> <laughs> 